Boom, and we're back, folks, on the product spotlight from your host, Douglas Smythe from phoenixshaving.com. Today, we are going to be looking at something really special, really unique, something I'm super stoked to bring to you. It's the Phoenix Injector Type L-1. What? Yeah. But until then, intro! You'll be the life of the party. And we're back, folks, with another product spotlight. I am your host, Douglas Smythe from phoenixshaving.com, but I think I already mentioned that. Today, we're going to be looking at something very special, however, something I'm super stoked to finally bring to you people. Um, if you've been following Phoenix Shaving, then you know it is my mission, it is our mission, our collective mission, to bring back some of the late, great uh, wet shaving uh, superstars from the past. One of them being the Injector Razor. Um, been really looking forward to doing this for some time. This is what I've been calling the Phoenix Injector Type L-1 based on the Schick Type L-1, if you will, uh, that was originally released in 1965. But before I move along with any of this, I just wanna say you have a chance to win one of these bad boys. That's right, look at that, great weight. But you have a chance to win if you just comment, like, and subscribe. That's right, comment below, like, and subscribe, and you'll be automatically entered in our weekly contest to win this bad boy. Look at that, <laughs> it could be yours. I do wanna say though, if you uh, subscribe to both my channel and I'd Lather Be Shaving, since we're always having giveaways, it's important that you hit the notification button on our channel. It's that little bell thing. Hit that for notifications so you get updated when I comment or when Matt comments. Because our typical comments are, hey, guess what? You won. That's where you find out if you win in the comment section. So if you're not paying attention to that, do so. Because there's some winners out there that haven't gotten back to me yet. And when you don't get back to me, I get the prizes. It's true. I've been using all these prizes. So I don't want to have, have that to happen in this case. So folks, let's dig into this. Now, which one is which? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? No, you can't tell. You can't tell because they look so much alike. This is the original Schick Type L-1, uh, originally released in 1965 and um, made up until I believe 2000. No, I'm sorry. Uh, made up until 1980, 1980 actually. Ooh. Yes, 1965 to 1980, Whew. every now and then, brain freeze. Um, so it had a real long run. In fact, the whole injector design in itself is the longest running safety razor design. So if that tells you something right there, uh, hell of a razor. So again, one of my favorites, one of my smooth, smoothest shavers in my collection is this chick right here. So enter the Phoenix injector. Since they no longer make these, I had to bring it back. And here we have it right here, folks. And there's really, as you can see, there's not much difference in these. Let's do a close up right here. But as you can see, there's not much difference with these. Not at all. Uh, the only thing that I will point out that is different is the length. And it's only like a smidgen, a smidgen, a smidge longer, if you will. But that's it. It really is not much different. Um, same great grippiness, same great weight, and same great smooth shave. So that said, <laughs> maybe some of you don't know what an injector razor is. This, my friends, is an injector. This is a classic Schick injector key. This is packed with blades, about 20 of them. Um, this fits into this little hole right here. Let's do another close up. I'll do it here as well, but pay attention to that. Not here, that, but I'll talk you through it. So you put the key in the slot in the keyhole and then you slide this little um, pump or hammer, if you will, forward, like so, like so. And see, that inserts the blade. Now that said, you can get uh, injector blades like this, Persona, without the key. That, my friends, is a bitch. And takes a little bit of, I don't know, play, if you will, to get it to align properly in your injector razor. Not to say it can't be done, it can be done. In fact, you know, because a lot of times you can find these cheaper without the key. So in that case, what you would need 
I looked my I looked all over the place for a video on how to uh, use a persona blade, a, a, a keyless in persona blade inside injector, and there's no videos on this. So if you're using one of these, make the video. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make one right now. So uh, you can use this, but it's a little bit tricky. What you would do is you would line it up against. Again, let's let's look at this. But you would line it up against the razor, and then again use the pump action here, and slowly insert that blade into the injector. Now the injector, it is springy. This is still a spring. It's a flat spring system in the, down below here, however. So it can be played around with. So once that blade is inside there, you may notice that it's not lined up or it's not resting evenly on the blade stops. So I use one of these little screwdrivers. Um, this is an electronic screwdriver, but you can also use like glass repair kit screwdrivers that can be found at any pharmacy right at the counter most of the time. But yeah, you can just get right in there See, like that. Get right in there and straighten it out if it's crooked. And again, it is, it is a spring, you can play with that. It has a little bit of play in there. But once you line it up perfectly, again, this is for uh, an injector dispenser without the key. But once you get it lined up perfectly, this is gonna give you one hell of a shave. Uh, if you don't wanna meddle with that, use one with a key. Uh, also, once you do get one with a key, here's another tip. Then you can start buying these. But what you'll need to do is reload this. Uh, and super easy to reload because this is also spring activated. And so you would push that down at the tail end with a screwdriver and just reload, unload this, take those blades and reload that in there. Again, just be careful with your fingers, but you can reload these things and use it and maybe save a buck or two or maybe more. So that's how you load this thing. But now let's get to the shave. The shave is awesome. Schick, again, has been around since 1935, had a hell of a run, I think about 80 year run. They were making uh, injector razors, in this country anyways, till about 1995. So 1935 to 1995, and they're still being made, I believe, in Japan. Uh, difficult to find, but it's the Type O, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but for the most part, I think I'm right. But yeah, one hell of a razor gives a great shave. There's a real difference in the blade feel. It feels more like a gem style or a single edge blade, even like a straight razor. Uh, it's just a stiffer blade. It's, I don't know, it, gives, it just gives a whole different uh, style of shape, if you will. Um, the angle's also different. You're gonna kind of have to hold it perpendicular. Like, this is the angle you want right there. It's pretty obvious. But you hold it against your skin and pull down. Again, very little, if any, pressure on this. Treat it like a safety razor, but it, it gives one heck of a shape. I really love love uh, injectors and it took me a while to come around to injectors. I actually didn't like them at first because I was buying them um, secondhand or antiques and a lot of them were just wonky and I didn't realize that. I just thought they weren't good shavers. Now it turns out it was the actual razor I picked up were in good condition. So that said, if you're looking to try an injector for a great affordable price that's going to give you a great shave that's modern and not, not wonky like an antique, uh, which you will stumble upon sometimes, uh, I highly recommend that you pick up the Phoenix injector. Type L-1. <laughs> I should probably explain that too. Um, in that series, the Type Ls, there's a bunch of different variations on that. You had like the stick shift, you had the tennis racket, you, just a couple different versions of it. So it was like a Type uh, Type L-1, Type L-2, so on and so forth. So you all these different variations on this design. But overall, this design has been the design they've been running with since the 1930s. So mid-1930s. So great razor, folks. Super happy to carry it. Again, I love bringing this stuff back because a lot of it is just lost to time. There's so much, as I mentioned in another video, uh, maybe on I'd Lather Be Shaving, there is so much that has been lost in the wet shaving world to time. Uh, I'm just glad that the internet came into popularity when it did and all this stuff was accessible to us again. Otherwise, who knows what else we would have lost. I've, uh, I have this Gillette aftershave that I still can't figure out anything about. I have no history on it. I can't see any photos, old ads, nothing. I've seen literature or just postings, one posting about, about it, about a commercial that existed, can't find it. I've contacted uh, Gillette, their archivist, nothing. They don't know anything about it. So that's just one aftershave. Imagine how much else is missing from our history, from our traditional wet shaving history. So, that said, I've kind of made it a point to be like the archivist, if you will, and bring this stuff back at an affordable price. So, if you don't have one, I highly recommend you pick up one. If you do have one, I highly recommend you pick up one, just to, for the sake of conversation. But great shaver, look for it everywhere. And this has been another product spotlight with your host, Douglas Smythe from PhoenixShaving.com. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And I want more in the comments. I don't want to just like, yeah, I'm in. I want, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you have to say about chicks and in injectors and all that jazz. I'm really interested in this.
We're a team, folks. We're a team. We're a team us. <laughs> Take care, and until our next product spotlight. Adieu.